Hello, this is Physics Chapter 1, Physical Quantities and Measurements. Now in this video, we will start on Lesson 2. Lesson 2 will deal with three key concepts of physical quantities and measurements. And these are none other than physical quantities, SI units, and base quantities. Now let's try to understand the very first concept, physical quantities. What are physical quantities? Well, physical quantities are simply quantities that can be measured. Any quantity that can be measured, we call these quantities physical quantities. And take note, physical quantities are actually made up of two items. First is actually a magnitude, a numerical magnitude or number, and a unit. So for example, if you look at this picture over here, it shows a picture of a housing block. Now, if you to class, if you to measure the height of the building and find that it is 60 meters, the height of the building is actually a physical quantity. Okay? And the 60 is what we call the numerical magnitude or number. And the meters, the small m here represents the meter, which is actually a unit. Another example of a physical quantity is the mass of a boy. The mass of a boy can be 56 kilogram. So the mass of a boy is actually a physical quantity with a numerical magnitude of 56 and the unit kilogram. Next, let's deal with the concept called SI unit. SI stands for International System of Units, okay? And the SI unit is necessary for common understanding and ease of communication between different people, all right, of different countries. Now, for Singapore itself, we use the metric system of unit, and um, there are quite a number of other countries in the world, a hundred over of them, which actually adopt the same metric system of units for their measurements. Now, some examples of these units are the meters, grams, seconds, and centimeters. Now, let's have a look at this concept called the base quantities and SI units. What do we mean by base? Now, in science and physics in particular, the base physical quantities refer to quantities which can be directly measured. Okay, And there are seven of them. Now, in physics, the seven are the length, mass, time, temperature, electric current, amount of substance, and luminous intensity. Now, for the purpose of O-levels or ordinary levels physics, the first five are the ones that you need to remember. You need to memorize and remember them. So, these are the seven base quantities. And uh, not only that, you will need to remember their respective SI units as well, uh, as a whole, in the whole word, and also their symbols, and also the other common units which are used uh, together with the physical quantities. So let me just explain a little bit by giving an example. For example, temperature is a base quantity and the SI unit of temperature is the Kelvin. The symbol for Kelvin, take note of the capital K that is being used here. Other common units which we usually use is the degree Celsius. So surprisingly in science, degree Celsius is not what we consider a base SI unit for temperature. Another example is the electric current. The SI units of the electric current is the ampere, and the symbol of the ampere is a capital A. Okay, so I would like to point out something over here. Now, take note: the symbols which are used for the SI units has a very special um, uh, meaning, meaning that they you need to observe whether they are small letter or capital letter. For example, the symbol small m is used to represent the unit meters, not capital M. Okay, so do take note of this as well. So as I repeat, uh, I will repeat this again. The first five are the base quantities that you need to remember for O-levels physics. Now, what are derived quantities? Well, if you look at the base quantities, uh, there are seven of them. Then how about quantities like area and volume? Okay, so... Area and volume are also physical quantities, but these quantities are derived from the seven, from one or more of the seven base quantities. For example, if you look at the area of this rectangle, we can calculate the area by taking its length and multiplying the length with the breadth of the rectangle. However, take note, length and breadth, they are both lengths. So therefore, they are both base physical quantities. And by multiplying the both these base physical quantities, we obtain the quantity area. Therefore, area is what we call a derived quantity. 
Now let's try to understand the key concepts a little bit better by having a look at this question. Okay. Now the question says this: James wants to calculate the volume of a box of fruit juice. He first measures the length to be ten centimeters, width to be five centimeters, and the height of the box to be zero point two meters. He then calculates the volume of this box by multiplying the length, height, and the width together. Okay, so the question is this: How many physical quantity is discussed in the question above? There will be four: volume, length, width, and height. Question number two: Which physical quantity is a base quantity? So out of the four. The one which are base quantities are the length, width, and height. For question number three, which is a derived quantity, the derived quantity is none other than the volume itself. And finally, which physical quantity is expressed in its base SI unit? Of the three, numerical and unit given here, numerical magnitude and unit given, only the height is expressed in the unit meters. And if you recall. The SI unit, the base SI unit of length, is actually in meters. Therefore, height in this particular problem is the physical quantity expressed in its base SI unit. So that brings us to the end of this video. Now, before we end the video, I'd like to summarize again, again, lesson number two. In lesson number two, we dealt with three key concepts. The first one is physical quantity. Physical quantity is basically A, a quantity that can be measured, and it is made up of two components. The first is the numerical magnitude or number, followed by the unit. All right. Now, the second key concept you have to remember will be the SI unit. The SI unit is actually a standard international unit that we have chosen for our measurements, and in Singapore itself, we have adopted the metric unit itself. And the final、uh, concept that you need to understand is this key concept called the seven base physical quantities and the base SI units. In physics itself, ordinary level, it is important to remember the five base physical quantities, and these are length, time, mass, temperature, and electric current. Okay. As I mentioned earlier on as well, I'd like to repeat again over here to take note of the SI units and also the symbols、uh, used to represent the SI units. Capital or small letter is essential here. All right, and that's it. That brings us to the end of this particular video. I will see you in、um, in the next video for lesson three.